Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we are going to grill some sweet corn. What we have here is a couple ears of sweet corn and we want to put these on the grill and get some lovely char on it and get some flavor on it. And traditionally, I know a lot of people will boil, boil their corn. They'll, they'll throw it in a big pot on the stove and they'll use a little bit of salt and butter, things like that. And it, it comes out really good, but I love the taste of grilled corn. So what I want to do today is show you how we do it here at the Barbecue Lab and give you a little insight how you could do this yourself. What we want to do is we want to take this piece of corn and we want to actually split it right down the middle. And we're going to actually peel the shucks back, but we're going to leave the shucks attached to the corn. We're not going to pull the cob off. The whole goal is we want to get this silk off of the corn. This silk, no matter how long you cook, it's not really ever going to be good eats. So then we're going to wrap the shuck back around the piece of corn and then we're going to soak it in water for about 20 minutes to make sure it can steam while it's out there cooking on the grill. All right, so our corn has been soaking for about 20 minutes and it's ready to get on the grill. In the husks, we're just gonna lay it right on the grate and we're gonna let it cook. We're gonna check in on it in about 10 minutes and we'll flip it over. So it's just been about five minutes, but we have the grill on high. I want to go ahead and get these a turn to make sure they're not burning too too far on one side. But the husk is really kind of protecting them, so I'm not that worried about it. But um, I'm going to use my hand. But remember, I have a glove liner on underneath this nitrile glove, so uh, don't try this without that. See how those husks are starting to pull back a little bit? You're actually starting to see the corn through there. Oh man, guys, this is looking good. Just give it a little turn keep it back on the heat okay so we're sitting at right around 12 minutes the corn's been on and we're gonna take a look at it but I'm gonna guess it's pretty close to done so let's take a look yeah look at that the husks have had some nice color on them the corn's starting to get a little color on it as well where it's actually exposed I'm just gonna turn this one more time and we'll probably let it go for another three or four minutes and we're gonna call it done Okay, so our corn has been on for a total of right around 15 to 17 minutes. And I'm telling you, it looks fantastic. And we're gonna pull it off here so you can see it. But man, if you haven't grilled corn like this, you need to give it a shot. Come and see what we're working with. It's got some lovely color on it. That corn looks spectacular. It's got some great grill taste. And I guarantee it's gonna be done. It's gonna be juicy when you bite into it. We're going to go ahead and get this off and we're going to let it cool down for just a second before we actually pull this off and take a bite. All right, so this corn's been off the grill for a few minutes and all we're going to do is we, we can now just pull off the shucks and we have some awesome grilled corn. All you have to do is break off the, the husk. And then this is ready. Now, I don't know about you, but I like a little butter on my corn and a little salt and pepper. I like to keep it really pretty simple. And they've got these wonderful little uh, corn butter uh, gizmos. I don't even know what it's called, but rub a little butter on here. And I'm just gonna take some corn holders, stick them in each side. And then add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, nothing too crazy for today and we'll give this a whirl. But that is grilled corn. Mm. I'll have to take a pause here for a second. I need to finish this video, but this is good. All right, so 
I grew up with really, really good sweet corn. And I gotta tell you, grilled corn is one of my favorite ways to make corn. So if you've never tried it, it's easy. You can see the process, give this a shot, and actually make some grilled corn for your next dinner, lunch, party, whatever you have going on. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to see you back here on the Barbecue Lab. We'd love to see you just like and subscribe, hit that bell here on the YouTube channel. And also, you can find us on the website over at thebarbecuelab.com. We hope to see you next time as we bring recipes, grill reviews, and techniques to help you win your weekend. We'll see you then.